Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Welcome to our QuickBooks Online Tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you how to set up a customer in QuickBooks Online. We have 46 free QuickBooks Online tutorials that you can find by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorials. So let's start at your dashboard in QuickBooks Online. For a 30 day free subscription you can click the link below this video. So let's, there are two different places we can enter customer information. So we could go to sales and then make sure we're on customers and then new customer. And here we have all the customer information that we'll need to enter. Another place to go to enter the information is in invoices. So let's say you're already creating an invoice. So we're going to under sales invoices we're going to create invoice. We can start entering a name and we can see John Smith is not already a customer so let's add him as a new customer. And here we have details. That brings us to the same screen we accessed through the customers dashboard. Okay, so let's go through briefly the information it asks for. Most of it is self-explanatory. Uh, if it's an individual, you can put the name of the individual up here. If it's a company, you could put the name of the company down here. You have to have a display name. Here it's going to just match whatever the name was. But we could change that if we wanted. Um, other information, contact information over here on the right. Uh, the first tab below here is for their address. You can have a separate billing address than shipping address. Notes just provides you a tab to make notes about the customer, perhaps where you met them, who referred them to you, etc. Tax information. Um, if you have to collect sales tax from this customer, you can click this box and give the tax code. So if you collect sales tax, you can set up tax codes for various sales tax jurisdictions, and then you could assign a tax code to each of your customers. If they're exempt, then you would obviously unclick that box and then you could enter their exemption details over here, which is generally be some sort of exemption number uh, that the state provided them. Payment and billings, you can give their preferred payment method, delivery method, terms that you want to give them on your invoices. And if they owe you any money for invoices that are not going to be entered in, Quick, in QuickBooks, then you can enter an opening balance here. This is pretty cool. Language, you can send invoices to your customers in multiple languages. Um, attachments, uh, these would be attachments just within QuickBooks to this customer file. So um, things like perhaps a copy of their sales tax exemption form um, or whatever else you'd like to uh, remember about your customer or have easy access to for your customer, uh, you can attach it to this customer file. Uh, custom fields, we don't have any custom fields set up in uh, Paul's Plumbing. However, if you go to uh, your advanced settings, you can create custom fields and this is where you would specify uh, the value for that field for this customer. And then additional information, uh, we have customer types within Paul's Plumbing and so you could assign uh, the customer type. Okay, and that's how you set up a new customer in QuickBooks Online. So I'm going to cancel so I don't save it, but you would obviously want to save it. Now, that's how you're going to enter customers once you're up and running in QuickBooks Online, uh, probably just one at a time as you get new customers. However, if you're transferring over from a previous software, most software will give you an ability to somehow print out a customer list that can be converted to an Excel file, or maybe they'll even allow you to directly export the Excel file. But for most software, you, there's somehow to get the customers out into an Excel file or CSV file. So once they're in that CSV file, we can easily import them into QuickBooks Online. So let's go to Sales, Customers, but instead of New Customer, let's click on Import Customers. Here gives us a very nice uh, wizard that's going to allow us to select our Excel file, map the data from our Excel file to the appropriate QuickBooks Online variables, and then complete the import. So to see what the Excel file should look like, I'm going to click on this download a sample file. So I'm opening this file on another monitor. I'll slide it over to you in a second. Okay, so this is what their sample Excel file 
looks like. So in the first row it's important that you have names for each of your variables. Now in their sample file these names actually match the QuickBooks Online variable names perfectly but they don't have to do that. You'll see in our next step when we map your variables to QuickBooks Online variables it's okay if the names don't match exactly. And so the first row has to be your variable names and then the following rows are one are your customers and so one customer per row. So this sample just has nine customers. Your file could have hundreds and hundreds of customers and it would be very easy uh, to import them. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and get rid of this screen again. Now I'm going to browse. That file should be in my downloads folder. And there it is, open. Okay, so I've selected the file. By the way, you can also do this from Google Sheets. Uh, I'm just showing the example uh, from an Excel file. So let's click next to map our data and so it automatically tries to map your data for you however you can change it um, for their sample file that we're importing um, it's actually perfect because their their field names they gave in the spreadsheet match the quickbooks online field perfectly so quickbooks was able to figure it out on their own but you can go in here and change it if you wanted to so if your if your name was actually in your company you know you field you could change that but obviously that's not the case so again the fields in your spreadsheet do not have to match perfectly the fields in QuickBooks Online this is the screen you can do the mapping to make sure they flow into the proper variables great once we get that done we click next this opens up all of the customer information that you're importing and so this is kind of your last chance to go in and change the information we don't need to actually look down here it says all data is for sample purposes so that's that last line that was in our spreadsheet that was not actually a customer let me slide to the spreadsheet again that's this down here on row 12 that's not actually a customer is it so that was going to just create a customer that would kind of be junk and so I'm going to unselect that because we don't want to import that and now I'd click import and it'll go through the process import it you'll have a bunch of new clients okay I don't want to do that to my data file so I'm not actually going to hit import but this is where you'd hit import and you'd be done. So that's how you import a bunch of customers at one time to QuickBooks Online. I hope this has helped you learn how to set up customers in QuickBooks Online. Please visit our other 46 free tutorials by Googling Fit Small Business QuickBooks Online Tutorial. I hope you have a great day and thank you for your time.